One of my favorite moments in the stories of the events leading up to Easter is when Jesus washes his followers' feet. They lived in the desert, so it was dusty and sandy, and it was common in that time for people to gather a wash bin and some water and wash their feet when they entered someone's home. It was a dirty, everyday kind of a job. As Jesus often liked to do, he taught his followers by his actions. So on the evening before he was to be crucified, when he was gathered at the Last Supper with his disciples and follower, he gathered a wash bin and began to fill it with water. And he said he wanted to wash his disciples' feet. His disciples didn't understand at first what Jesus was trying to do. They said, no, teacher, Lord, you can't wash my feet. But Jesus, so fond of doing the opposite of what was expected, showed his followers how to serve others, saying, love each other. Just as I love you, you also must love each other. Today we aren't washing our feet every day, but we are doing a lot of hand washing. Whenever we come into our home or many times throughout the day, we are washing and washing our hands. What would it be like to share this act with others? Gather a bowl and a pitcher of water or go to the sink together. Bring soap and a towel. If there are others in your household, you can share the practice of washing hands together. If you are alone in your room, you can imagine washing hands with one another or imagine this loving tenderness with each of your hands. Imagine if Jesus was washing your hands. Carry this love with you give this love to one another, whether we can touch one another's hands or not. Love each other.